Hey und herzlich willkommen zur sechsten Folge von Rick und Morty. Oh, wir mal die Batterie. Ah. Das ist jetzt anscheinend die most charged. Schauen wir mal, was die tut. Das ist sie. Okay, das ist das. Yeah, go. <lacht> Easy. Das geht ziemlich auf. Oha. Oh, das sind viel zu viele. <lacht> 28, 29. Ja, moin. Ja, gut, <lacht> aber noch weiter. Oh, das ist jetzt eigentlich nicht. Ist viel los? Ja, gut. Nur, no, also Cherry. Boy. Machen wir noch einen Troy. Ist eigentlich da was bei dem Sink? Das ist nicht unjustes da. Ja, machen wir noch einen. Diesmal nehmen wir den Rubik's Cube. Bin der Smart One. Sechzehn Jahre später. Everybody, finish up marking down your answers. I'll be collecting the tests in a moment. Ähm, eins plus eins ist zwei. Ja. Troy, you're the first one finished again. Oh, ha. Mit meinem Würfel. Troy, you're so smart. I still can't believe you aced that test. Ja. Hey everyone, cheers to Troy. Soll ich jetzt mit der Limo anbrosten oder gar nicht anbrosten? Oder mit einer Cola? Tun wir mal gar nicht. Anscheinend muss ich. I just know you're gonna make some great invention or something, man. You're so spell. Oh, what was that for? Try, you're crazy. Upsi. Hey, hey, wieso bin ich schon wieder da? Ah. Ich fahr da jedes Mal her. Na, wir probieren keins. Und dann bin ich trotzdem ein Drogendealer. Troy, you can't keep doing this forever. It's time to get realistic. You need to do something with your life. You can stay for us. Hey. Come on, let's do it. Let's. Yeah. How about this? It's getting harder. Let me do a job. What have you got there, Troy? Show me what it, this is a good idea. You've got plenty of time to start a new career. It's another chance to find something you love doing. Welcome to the job, fam. We'll see you soon. help you find a job that fits you and your lifestyle. Take a look at, hey, a musician. I think you've got what it takes, man. Let's get you set up with some instrument recommendations. Okay, yeah. Sorry. We're ready to go. Grab that mic and let's kick things off in style. Um. One, two, three, yeah. You are never too old to rock. I'm never too old to rock. It's dancing. Come on, 
Oops. <laughs> Happy you retirement, Troy. Troy. You've always been such a hard worker, Troy. I'm glad you finally get to rest. Doctor, isn't there anything you can do for him? I'm afraid not. As I'm sure you know, Troy's early life was a bit troubled in terms of uh, substance use. And it's finally caught Wieso up. Wieso schon wieder no, Drogen und das diagnosis. kann er nicht sein. I know it's not what you want to see right now, but it's the truth. Jetzt muss gleich hier. Troy lived a full life, <laughs> but all things must be made end. I'm oh, sorry yeah. to tell you this, Troy, but you've got about 10 seconds to live. Oh my god, Troy, I can't believe this. Please, please don't leave me. I'll never forget a moment of our time together. Kann man wieder ein VR jetzt hier trinken? Der Cherry war ja im Pathroom. Dann schauen wir mal im Pathroom noch. Das ist die Bordel dann lower. So, der Cherry, den könnt man ja noch anfinden. Ich hätte ihm mal gesagt, der war ja hier und der wurde ja eine Tablette von uns. Und deshalb machen wir das noch mal. Ich glaube, er wurde da haben. Maximum Strength. I was a boy your age once, and oh, the stories I could tell. I had my share of tomfoolery in the bathroom. You don't have to be embarrassed about anything, Morty. Everyone does it. Just open the door and we can talk. I want you to feel comfortable talking to me. Hey, what did you do, Morty, do I hear your laptop? You know, in my days, we just had a Montgomery Ward catalog and our imaginations. Oh, the stories those wrinkled pages could tell. You know, the first time my parents found me in this situation, oh, I was so embarrassed. I thought I could never show them my face again. But then my father talked to me. Told me this was Jeez, natural. The just apple just apple apple the tree. Yeah, Rick, thanks, thanks a lot for that, you know. For my mom's Morty, alcoholism. I, I am really I starting to, to worry about myself. you. You have to let me know you're okay. Just open the door and we can talk. I am the man of this house. You open this door right now. Cannot prevent me from entering my own bathroom. Morty, let me in right now, or else I will tell your mother, and she will drown you into oblivion. How come nobody respects me? I'm supposed to be the one everyone looks up to. Everyone loves dad. I want to be dad. What have I done to deserve this? <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna come clean. I don't want to talk to you about your masturbation. That's gross. That was just a rude. Look, I, I left my hemorrhoid cream in there, okay? Can you just pass my hemorrhoid cream under the door, please? Grab your... Hey. Cap this easy. Go to your home. Ah! Get. Get. Um, Cherry? Das war's? Cherry? Wo steht denn da jetzt auf der Dorfel drauf? Creamed up? Das war's? Die Creme habe ich ihm geben müssen? Ja, cool. Ja, also, ihr habt gesagt, Schauen wir uns auf die Credits an und dann war es das für das Spiel. Ich meine, die ganzen Disketten, ich bin ehrlich, mag ich jetzt nicht suchen. Eine Minute, 37 Sekunden später. So, anscheinend mache ich mich doch auf die Suche nach allen Tapes. Da, dass wir mehr killen können, ganz schön. Die Batterie, ja, kann man auch mehr machen und die Jahre. Da, ich bin jedes Mal Drogen, die das funktioniert auf nicht anders. Das 
Tja. Frag die Leute erst Job jedes Mal. Cool war ja schon wieder. Aber diesmal war ein Nerd. Ziemlich cool. Ja, dann gehen wir mal in den Lobby Screen. Mit dem Fast Food Friend. Howdy y'all. Enjoy your taste of chunk. Hey. Nein. Ah. Cherry. What? Please don't tell anybody about my hemorrhoid cream, okay? I know you're mad at me, but it's a bit rude not to even acknowledge that I am talking to you. <laughs> even your mother lets me know when she's going to ignore me. Don't I deserve that? Oh, I can't handle this. I'm gonna go watch some television. Let me know when you're done disrespecting your father. Okay. Listen to me, young man. Open this door right now. I don't care if this is your grandfather's lab. Can't it do no problem? You can't ignore me forever. I'm not just gonna give up. Jerry, what are you doing? Oh, uh, it's Morty. He's uh, locking himself in the garage and, and not responding to me. So what? He's in the garage. Just leave him alone. Do you have something better to do? No. That's the how it is. Always take his side. Never listen to your husband. It's not like that. You're just emotional because you don't. Oh. Swear to God, Morty, if you tell her about the hemorrhoid cream, it will ruin this family. You will see her again soon, Mama. No. This was with Cherry. The cherry is in trouble. Okay. Die Bühne ist weg. Der Cherry ist jetzt in Trouble, okay. Aber wir schauen nochmal zu den Credits. Und dieses tasty Chunk wird dir durch den Menü-Button gebracht. Ah! Freeplay. Go to be free. Jetzt ist der Rick. Jetzt da unten war schon angeschaut, ha? Free Bray? Cherry ist du nicht. Das sind die Credits. Ah, nicht schlecht. Ja, die schauen wir gar nicht fertig an. So, probieren wir mal den Free Play aus. So, anscheinend mache ich mich doch auf die Suche nach allen Tapes. Das erste haben wir schon gefunden. Das ist das da. Das zweite soll angeblich da drinnen sein, ja. <lacht> What the heck? Steh auf. Gender. Schwierig. Alles klar. Können wir uns das mal anhören? 
it, it, is, it is a Morty clone, so I guess like I guess technically it's a her. I mean, it's a him. It's a, it's a he. Not to get uh, locked into the pronoun uh, thing, you know. Uh, popular topic these days amongst you millennials. <clears throat> yeah, you know, Rick is pretty crazy nowadays with all that stuff. Be careful yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you gotta know what I use. Oh, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm totally respectful of it. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay. Das war die zweite. Alles klar, das war die erste. So, wo ist die dritte? So, eine soll auf dem Satelliten sein. Das haben wir echt schwer gedacht, weil es war bis jetzt bei jeder Szene mindestens A. Disk. Dann schauen wir mal da unten vielleicht. Ja, Ice Cream. So. Die dritte. Ja, yeah, Mori, you know, the nice thing about Ice Cream is that it's, uh, it's ice cold. It's cold on your tongue, it's delicious and sort of just slimes down the back of your throat. Yeah, you know, Ice Cream is. I, I'm, I'm definitely open for the Ice Cream choice. I mean, if I had to pick a choice, it would be for Ice Cream. You know, Morty, Ice Cream's a good choice. Sure is, Rick. I mean, I like it because, like you said, it's cold and it sort of just drips down the, your throat. You don't even have to swallow, Morty. You can kind of just like, go, gar, like kind of just like, you know, kind of, you know, and it just goes right down. Yeah, it's delicious. It just goes right down. It's ice cream. I, I highly encourage everybody to try it. If you haven't tried ice cream, you gotta give it a chance. Yeah, you, you gotta give it a shot. You gotta give ice cream a shot. If you're listening to this. I mean, this is just a conversation between me and Rick, but if anyone else is eavesdropping on this conversation, like, you should seriously try ice cream if you haven't tried it. Yeah, if you haven't tried ice cream, you gotta give it a shot. This, I mean, what are you waiting around for? <laughs> yeah. One cup of ice cream isn't gonna kill you. Yeah, it's, I mean, let's be real. You're not gonna die from one cup. I mean, you know, unless you're, unless you're lactose intolerant. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Wow, that's kind of, I don't know, that's not, that's not too bad a slogan, Rick. Well, no, would you look at that clone, Morty? You found a growth hormone. I got it. Too I bad you don't have a penis. Them. I ice put cream. that thing to you. Get your ice cream here. Step right up. Huh, that's a pretty good slogan. It's got a nice bell to it. It's got a nice ring to it, I meant. Hey, Rick. Um, we should start an ice cream company. That's a good idea, Morty. I'd, I'd be honored to start an ice cream company with you, Morty. Yeah, Rick, I, I'd start an ice cream company with you, you, you old son of a bitch. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Morty, you little piece of ass. We're gonna start an ice cream corporation, Morty. We're gonna take over the entire ice cream corporations of all of them. Man, we're gonna take over a whole ice cream corporation.com. Freaking ice cream. <laughs> Morty, we're gonna make so much ice cream, we're gonna drown the whole world in ice cream. I'm gonna take a big ice cream all over somebody's face. Whoa, Morty, whoa. That's not cool. I, I don't know what you're, what that phrase, the, the way you phrased that. I don't know, it's just, I meant like, you know, you put ice cream in your mouth, it's, uh, mouth your mouth's on your face, and I figured that was kind of, you know. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Say it more. I apologize. So, this was more. Ein Ausflug in die Eiscreme Welt ist jetzt angeblich zur Erweiterung gemacht. Keine Ahnung wie. Hey, uh, check out this thing. It's a uh, Triangle Ruler. And uh, you know, like they're they're like uh, they they have matter, right? And like it has mass and you know <lacht> oh, uh, when I like to I like to look at Triangle Ruler. And uh, you know, I like to see, you know, kind of what they're made of. Sometimes I, you know, Maybe I I pick it up and maybe I throw it. You know, uh, I 
I want to juggle with the hell. Don't worry, don't litter. You know, that's my house you're trashing. Alles klar. Und was sagt der da jetzt? Hey, you know, I love playing with Flask. It's so youthful, it's incredible. You can do so many exciting things with the Flask. I always go biking with the Flask. Because you never really know when you'll need the Flask. To defend yourself from <lacht> Alles klar. all the schlimmflop bears in the forest. forest. So, wir haben zwischen drei Kassetten. Angeblich kann man eine kaufen. There it is. Hi, this is 1% Visible. I'm Steven Barp. The exchange of goods on a galactic scale is no small feat. Even before faster than light travel, galactic citizens needed a way to ship physical goods to anywhere in the galaxy. We ordered goods that are unique to specific planets and expect they make it intact to our front doors rapidly. We ship uh, approximately 44 million items in a single galactic standard day. That's proof to move. Hey, I'm Proof Gnoop, and I'm the manager in charge of Gazorpa Zorpazon Regional Office number 648. Proof manages just one of the thousands of Gazorpa Zorpazon's regional distribution centers speckled across the galaxy. People need all kinds of things, and uh, we hold them here first, and then we ship them out. We got uh, shovels, finerts, raw uber berries, everybody loves them. Uh, pretty much anything that's legal, we package and ship here. Our distribution center covers approximately 0.09% of the galaxy. And that's just a single center. Once you combine Gazorpa Zorpazon's entire network together, you cover almost all of the galaxy. The scale of their operation is truly stunning. I mean, not everyone has a home teleportation device to receive their packages. Those things have to be put in a stable location, have some significant power demands. But for many of our customers, we rely on the Courier Flap Network. Before Gazorpa Zorpazon, there was the Courier Flap Network. Genetically engineered half-organic half-automatons who helped citizens of the Galactic Federation ship their packages ever since the service was founded over 400 years ago. I got it! I was sitting in my back porch in Wapopolis when I, I you it. know, as the sun sank in the Crimson Nebula, I jumped out of my chair and like it. shrieked at my husband, the Courier Flap Tree in the Galactic Federation. That's Crepoli Serrett, a historian who wrote a book titled How We Flapped Our Way to a Galactic Federation. I knew I had to write a book once the idea came to me. The first courier <laughs> flaps were crude devices. The early Federation did not have a way to ship goods and equipment to outlying territories. The government wanted to be able to pass information to new colonies, but without a stable, unoccupied method of transport, they couldn't deliver terminals to outlying territories. It was the motivation to connect the furthest out colonies to the galactic internet that drove the creation of the courier flaps. Originally, the flaps were supposed to be machines, but new colonies wanted more than just a digital connection to the government. They wanted goods from other worlds. Without the flaps' organic parts, it made it much harder to contain goods with specific environmental needs. It was only through careful thought that the designers of the flaps were able to create something that could adapt itself to best fit the cargo. Once they had the basic design down, the Federation manufactured millions of flaps. They would first deliver the basic necessities to get connected back to the galactic government. As the courier flaps began to saturate the galaxy, the design was honed and changed. Here you can see an image of the original designs. These things were handcrafted, each with a single category of good they were certified to carry. As time passed, the Federation was able to combine the needs of each different type of flap into a single universal flap. It was a huge cost savings to the government. They were now able to update the technology of the galaxy and provide a network for citizens to exchange physical items at a relatively cheap cost. Before the courier flaps, galactic citizens relied on cargo shipments from expensive commercial carriers. These were cost prohibitive, so only the wealthy were able to ship things via this method. Once anyone could afford to ship packages, it changed the way the galaxy communicated. We went from being a set of different tribes based on our home solar systems to being a cohesive unit, a quilt of civilization stitched together with the flesh and ooze of the flaps. 
The courier flaps also had the unintended effect of putting a face on an otherwise immense faceless bureaucracy. I just feel connected to my courier flaps. That's Sally Glory, a galactic citizen who has created a site where she catalogs her interactions with the flaps. I started it about five years ago. You can see them all on my website. As they age, they get distinct markings, and their voices mature and become unique. She even names each of the flaps she meets. There's Stefan, and that glum-looking one is Ivey. Oh, and this jipper flap is quite cute. Got it. The courier flaps have helped connect us through the consumption of goods. Whether or not you think they have been the linchpin of the Galactic Federation, I think we can all agree that they have had a lasting effect on our lives. Hearing them croak out their delivery notification is a song that binds all of us together. One Percent Visible was recorded this week by Mon and Catherine. It was produced by me, Stephen Bart, and recorded on Galactic Radio Avenue in beautiful downtown Oldland. This week, 1% Visible is brought to you by Needful. They are an internet company that I feel truly exemplifies good design. Use code D3B1L at checkout to get 50% off your first purchase. 1% Visible is distributed by GPX, the galactic public radio experience. No. Du hast da hinten die Ecken hingekaut? Das macht mir anders schwach. Wenn wir die mit dem blauen machen, ist schon gebe ich noch andere rauskommen. Oh, you you did that then. You just combined some tapes, um, and and uh, now we're. Als Zuschauer möchte ich die Folge gefallen hat, lasst einen Daumen nach oben da. Und wenn ihr mehr wie aussehen wollt, schreibt es in die Kommentare. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.